Hi, my name is Miss Cozy and I am the Children's Ministry Director at Ocean Hills and this is our nursery and preschool check in and check out training video. We have a very specific procedure to checking in and checking out our nursery and preschoolers. We do this in order to make sure that we give our kids back to the right parents and that we don't give the kids to anyone without the parents' consent. So this is really important, not only for the safety of our kids, but for the peace of mind of our parents. So the check-in process is about five steps, and we're gonna go over them now. Step one is to grab your roster from the globe stage after the 9 a.m. devotional. Then you're gonna go to your classroom and find your clipboard. Your clipboard will have this sheet on it. It is entitled, O Kids Nursery and Preschool Check-In and Check-Out Procedure. And so that will help you not miss any of these steps. So that will be in your H Cuban. So once you have your roster, Step two is to designate which teacher is going to be doing both check in and check out. Consistency in this role is really important uh, for not only kids but parents. We really want that consistent face at the door for parents so they know that the same person who's checking in their kid is, is giving back their kid. Um, so please make sure to designate that person before your kids get there. Step three is to make sure that when a child comes to you, they have their name tag and that their parent has their parent sticker. And so once you've made sure that they both have their stickers, you can put a little check mark next to their name in the in column. And you can also take this opportunity to ask the parents if they are the same person that's going to be picking up the child. Now, if there's another person picking up the child, please indicate that, uh, especially if it's not a parent. So if it's a friend or a grandparent, please mark that on the roster and then make sure you tell that parent who's checking in that child, please give the parent sticker to whoever is going to be picking up your child. If they don't, it's just going to be a few extra steps for that person. So in order to make it easy on the back end, please ask them to put that sticker uh, on the person who's grabbing uh, their kid at the end. So that's step three. Step four has to do with allergies. We have two columns designated for allergies. The first one is what their allergy is, and the second one is whether or not we have actually confirmed if or not they have an allergy. So there are some kids that we do not know 100% whether or not they don't have an allergy. So in that column, it should say allergies confirmed. It will say not specified, or it will say no. So if they have a not specified in that column, please make sure to ask the parents, does your child have an allergy? And if no, make that note. Now if they say yes, please write in the allergy and note if it's severe with parentheses. Uh, at the end of the service, I would ask that you would please take a picture and text me any edits to the allergies or you can leave it on the globe stage. So that's step four. Step five is taking the time to have a personal touch with the parents to make a connection. So maybe their child was really kind last week or you noticed something that they did or something sweet or cute that they did. Uh, just showing parents that we notice their kids as individuals is huge for parents. So take that opportunity. Also, this is a great opportunity to ask questions. Hey, you know, we both know that, you know, little Susie had a hard time last week. Is there any way that I can soothe her? Does she like a pacifier? Does she have a bottle? Um, or maybe is this her nap time or will she be needing a diaper change? This is a great opportunity to ask parents how we can partner with them in caring for their children. Uh, so please make sure uh, that they know your name and you know and they know that we are trying our very best to care for their children while they are enjoying the service. So that is check in. Check out 
is a similar process. When a parent comes to the door, you're gonna look for their parent sticker and then call over the child. And as the child is coming over, you can have the parent initial in the out column next to their child's name. Now, if for some reason they don't have the parent sticker, this is where you kind of need uh, to be a little um, consistent. This is where consistency is really important. So. Uh, they don't have their parent sticker, you can ask, okay, uh, can I ask what your name is? And then if you know, oh, this person's name is John, and in little Sally's column it says her dad's name is John, you can say, okay, John, I know this might sound a little silly, but can I just see your ID really quick just to make sure that you are who you say you are? I want to make sure that Sally goes home to the right person. And so even though John might be like, wow, this is really overkill, I guarantee you that in the back of John's mind, what he's really going to remember is, wow, they took safety really seriously at OKids. And that's what we want, because if parents don't feel safe dropping off their kids, how are they supposed to encounter God in the service if they're worrying about whether or not their kid is gonna be given to the wrong person? Uh, so we really, really, really wanna make sure uh, that even though it may not feel convenient, that we are doing our very best to hold the highest standard of safety for our kids. Um, so now say you have, not only do you not have a parent, but you also don't have a parent sticker. So say it's a grandparent without a sticker. So that grandparent actually needs to go and find that parent sticker in order for them to get checked out. Um, same thing with a friend or a relative. If they aren't on the roster as a parent, they really need to find uh, that parent sticker. So um, that is our checkout procedure. Um, and we would say that uh, this is one of the ways that we really make sure that parents know that we're keeping their kids safe. So please implement this. Um, and again, if there were any big changes made to allergies that we need to put into our system, again, take a little photo, text it to me, and uh, or you can leave it on the Globe stage. So thank you so much for taking the time to listen and uh, to learn our procedure. And again, you can always review it on Sunday morning on your clipboard. So thanks so much. We'll see you on Sunday.